This is Math 107 practice test number one, question number seven. And we are supposed to construct a truth table for this argument. So um, notice it says P and Q implies not P or not Q. So really, I only have two statements in this argument, P and Q. So I'm going to start with those. And remember, um, for truth tables, what I want to do is list all of the possibilities true, true, false, false, all the, all the um, combinations that I could possibly have of true and false statements for P and Q. And I kind of have this, this system that helps me keep easy track. Um, so notice I have true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Again, two trues, two falses, true, false, true, false. It gives me all the possibilities. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building up these pieces. So I know the value of P, I know the value of Q. So P and Q going to be pretty easy to do. Um, this is an and statement. So in and statements, they both have to be true to be true. So true, true is going to be true. And if it has any single false in it, it's false. So all of these are false. Um, so I have this implication part, but I want to figure out what the, the values of this before I try and do that. So first off, uh, not P and not Q. I'm going to get those pieces going. And you know you you may be able to do this in your in your head. That's fine. I'm just going to keep careful track of it. Not p negating p flips all those values, so this becomes false, false, true, true. Not q negates all those values, so this becomes false, true, false, true, false, true. And now if I wanted to, I could make another um, thing here. I think I'll just do it. Uh, not p or not Q. So now I have these, all these not P values. I have all these not Q values. Not P or not Q or statement. Just one of them has to be true in order to be true. The only time this is false is when they're both false. So not P, false, false. Both false here. True because it's an or. True because it's an or. True because it's an or. So now notice what I have. I, I basically have both of these both of these pieces. This this P and Q is right here. This um, not P or not Q is right here. So what I can do now is I can compare these two columns using that implication. So now this is actually going to be the value of this. Not P or not Q. And again, what I'm doing is is this part. Sorry. Uh, this is this part, this is this part, this implies that. So let's see what values we can get for that. Um, remember, in an, in an implication, the only time that an implication is false is when the, the premise is false, but the conclusion is true. So um, a true, I'm sorry, other way around. The premise is true, but the conclusion is false. This does not this happens, but this does not happen. So, and that's this first case. True implies false. That is false. False. And, and then if, if my premise is false, doesn't matter. It's, it's always going to be true because it didn't have a chance to be disproven. So all of these are true. False, true, true, true. There's my truth table. There's my values.